This is video 10 in our website design or web page design in HTML series. And we're going to look over the next three videos about how we can use tables. And we're going to start off with this video about an introduction into tables. How do we put tables into our website? Now, tables are very important um, in website design because sometimes people will use tables to lay things out exactly where they want them to be. So you can use that type of technique if you want to put stuff in tables, in invisible tables almost. But let's just learn the basics of a table. So let's say we've got this table. You can see it has three columns and it's got two rows. That's my table. Now, the first tag we're going to learn about is the table tag. Now, that will say when the table starts. And then we will have a closing table tag to say when the table ends. So we've got our table there. Great. Now, let's look at that first row. There we can see the yellow. There's the first row. We need to define when the first row starts. And for that, we need a TR tag or table row tag. Okay? And then at the end of that row is where we will say this is the end of the row. So therefore, we've got a row there. Now, inside that row, we've got one little block, one little cell. So we need to say, hey, this is a cell. And for that, we have the TD tag. And we can say this is the start of the block and the close TD is where that's the end of the block. And whatever we want to display in that particular block will go between the two TD tags there. So that's the definition of a row with one block. What happens if we want two blocks? Well, we've got, we've got two blocks there. We're going to have to do that TD part again because this is the second block. Yeah, but we don't have, we don't have just have two. We've got three blocks. We're going to have to do that again for the third block. And so that will define what one row will look like in your HTML code. So you have the table at the top and the bottom. Then you have for each row a TR and close TR. And then inside the TR, you're going to have to have TDs opening and closing for each and every column basically in that in just that row so when we get to the second row we're going to have to do that all again um, and so that defines what the second row looks like i know it looks like a lot of code and stuff like that but there are little tricks you can use to make your life a little bit easier so let's take that table away so that's what it's going to look like in your code and that's very difficult to read sometimes um, and you sometimes don't have a lot of space so a lot of people actually lay out their table design like this now i know it doesn't look like a table now anymore it looks like the data is going vertically instead of horizontally for each row but because of the tr tags it will still do the exact same thing of what we just had so that's exactly what we want so we can see there that all that is exactly what we want for the first row in our table and and just that part that's the first cell or first block in the first row so there we go so we've got all those now some other prop attributes we're going to need to learn we're going to learn lots of them but there's two that we need to learn before we can actually get into tables because otherwise we're not going to see our tables and the first one is your tables by default have a zero border in other words you can't see the lines of the table so we need to specify the border so we set the border to one for the table attribute and then also sometimes the, the table is very squished up and it's very small to actually see like all the stuff. So we want to spread the table out a bit. So we're going to then set the width of the table to be a percent, particular percentage, 100% or 50%. So at least it spaces the table out a bit. So we're going to need to know those two attributes beforehand just so that we can see our table. In our next video, we'll learn a few more attributes that deal with tables and the rows and all that. Now, there we go. So let's, let's go back to this now. Okay, so there's another tag I want you to learn. These are the ones you need for a table. The table, the row, the TD. That's all you need to know. But there is another tag called a TH tag, which is ex works exactly the same as the TD tag. It's used as a block or a cell, and you can use it. But the difference between the TD and the TH is there you can see it. The TDs, they're just normal text. They'll be left aligned if you leave it unformatted uh, that. But the THs by default are like headings, the headings of your table. Maybe you want headings uh, at the beginning of each row, so then it will go down vertically. But in this case, they're going across the page. So there you can see the heading tags, they are all bold and centered already without us even having to do anything to them. So those are how TH tags work. Okay, well, now that we know the basics, let's go try to create a table in our web page. Okay, for this part of the video, we're actually going to use the second page that we created in our video on links. So I've got the second page that I've created, and I've got this little, I want to have a table that looks something like that. Now over there, you can see exactly what this table is probably going to look like. But if I type it in like that, you see it, uh, this looks terrible. It doesn't look anything like a table. So let's try to do our table. So I'm basically going to be saying, hey, this is the start of my table at the top. 
okay and then here at the bottom is where I'm going to let's put this up a bit so we can see it. this is going to be the end of my table there we go okay so that's the stuff I'm going to put inside my table now I don't think that actually does anything really it doesn't do anything okay so now we need this is going to be one row do you see that so I'm going to make that one row so that's a row and this is going to be the end of the row if that makes sense okay so that's one row happy now again we can't see anything in our tables nothing's happening now I'm going to put this in a block this in a block and this in a block so let's go put our TDs around that block okay and then let's do the same for this block and then we're going to do the same for that block I think once we've got our blocks then there our cells I think we should start to see some sort of movement of here where things are starting to move okay it doesn't know what to do with this text that's fine we'll leave that out for now let's take this out the table for now I'm going to move this over here we'll move it in later but at the moment we've got our table now you see we can't see the lines oh remember Mr. Long we, we learned those two attributes yes we want to put the border equal one let's just see what that looks like boom yeah there's a table but it looks very squished let's make the width a bit bigger I want to make the width equal let's make it 50 percent so it's half the page so it just spaces it out a little bit. So there we go. That's a little bit better. So you can see there's like an inner border and an outer border. And there's our other start of our table. Now, as I said, this can be quite a bit, quite hectic to try to do every single time. So my tip to you is to always get your first row perfect. And once your first row is done, you can literally just go in. Hey, we, could, we need one, two, three, four more. So you can literally copy this and paste this four times and then just change what's in each row. So this would be my second row. So remember, we learned about comments. I can actually put row two in here. Remember the comments that we learned? So that's row two. I'm actually going to move that. Not there. Let's move that there so I can see. There we go. So that's row two. Okay. So in this case, we're going to have the word grade 11 followed by the word HTML. And then we're going to have basic tags go into the, the topic area. So, so we've technically done the first or the second row. Of it so there we got a, there's our second row and it's got those three attributes so let's save it and refresh it and there's a new row you can see we've got the stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and just add the other ones quickly for you to save time so I went ahead and just added the rows for the other bits I just literally, I literally copied and pasted my this row there and then I just changed the data that was in the middle for each of them okay so there we go so you can see our nice little table but do you agree this is probably the headings of this table so I'm actually going to change these ones to th's I want to change all of these to th because those are headings and then I'm going to change the close TDs to close th's because that's what it must close the th okay close the th now that I've got them all closed let's just see what that looks like I want you to take note of that first row there do you see how it's gone bold and centered because that's what a th tag will do Okay, so there we go. We've got a nice little table. Um, you can put anything in here. You could put a bulleted list in here. You could put an image and that would be in the block in that particular cell. Um, you can change the fonts and stuff like that inside here. It will make things bold and stuff like that or change colors. You can do that all um, inside the, these tags, but that's the basic structure of a table. In our next video, we'll look at some more attributes about the tables and the rows and how we can make it look a little bit different as well. For more videos in this series, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, go to our playlist section and see what other topics could interest you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.